Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Deck Pasito. This week, we have got, for the first time ever on this show, uh, a real bad deck. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong here. We've had some slightly competitive decks on this show, okay? Uh, we had decks you can win with. This is not a good deck. Don't play this deck. This deck is garbage. This is the worst deck that we have had on the show. It is not going to be the worst deck that is on the show, though. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard of it before. You've been waiting for it. It is our Rainbow All Improvement deck. Welcome to Room for Improvement. That is right, ladies and germs. Rainbow every single color and literally every card is just improvements insane stupid absolutely hilarious when you win oh baby you know it. let's talk about this deck and the heroes now an improvement deck sounds real bad right not really improvements are extremely strong in the game of artifact you get pissed off when drow gusts your entire lane don't matter when you got improvements baby you can't silence an improvement and there's only so many ways to take them out most people waste those in the early game they see an improvement they immediately take it out this one has all improvements so it ain't that bad at all it's actually particularly strong against uh people that kill heroes black decks uh cards that silence you know your big drows or stuff like that uh, other cards that use a lot of magic or uh, mostly focus on not objective taking, just controlling your heroes. Because our heroes don't matter. Heroes can die, we don't give a shit. As long as they put down that improvement before they dead, boy, you can kill heroes all day. That's the strength of the improvement deck. So let's talk about the heroes first and foremost, really the only choices that we're making. Chen. Why is Chen in this deck? Well, he's green, so we need him, but also because he has the ability to steal big old creeps. Later in the game, the green decks will get you with their big bad boy creeps. So will the blue deck, uh, no, uh, blue, blue gets them to green, but whatever. Green decks are a headache late game. Chen makes sure that they have to be on their toes. They can't just put that Thunder High Dalpha. He can steal it. So he's our insurance policy, Mr. Chen. Why is Pugna in this deck? I don't know. Pugna is garbage. Uh, and it, he's particularly bad in this deck. We used to have level one burning oil. We took that shit out. So Pugna literally doesn't do anything. His nether blast is okay. His nether wards are very good when somebody does magical damage to themselves, especially good against Salamanes. Whew. God, that's a good feeling. But uh, Pugna's garbage. He should, this actually could be a competitive viable deck if we had another blue or a green hero. But what's the point of winning a game with an all improvement deck that isn't a rainbow deck? If you're gonna go meme, go all the way in, Pugna's in the deck so he can spam voice commands the entire time until he dies. God bless you, Pugna. Rainbow all the way, baby. Zeus! Zeus is actually pretty important. I gotta be real with it. He's the most, one of the most important parts of this deck. The real way that we win is by clearing the board with Zeus. Zeus's ability, his Thunder God's Wrath, mixed with a uh, Agnum Sanctum. I only have two in this deck. You should probably have three if you have them. Clear the deck all the way and make room for our big strategy. What is that big strategy you say? That's the black cards. That's the oath, baby. We want to clear out the board, kill every single hero, and then boom, 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 triple drop the oath for BOGO boom, boom damage, destroying an entire lane and perhaps an entire ancient in the two rounds before they can respawn. This entire deck is made around playing around the oath. Why is that? The oath is so risky, it does give you four damage, but you can't use spells and you can't summon creeps. Well, guess what, baby? We ain't got spells or creeps. We only have improvements, and you can activate improvements in an oath up lane. That's the point of the deck, baby. We get all the damage we could ever ask for with the oath, and it doesn't impact us in any way except for our boy Zeus and Thunder God's Wrath. Everybody else, don't give a hoot about it. Maybe a little bit of Sniper, but we'll get into there. Tinker, why is he in this deck? Tinker's just a strong hero. He's real good. He got March of the Machines. March of the Sh Machines is amazing. It's one of the best improvements in the game. M-M-I-O. And combined with something like Conflagration, you could be doing a ton of damage. Four damage with both of these down. Just one of each by around four to every unit. Woo! Don't forget, it's not piercing though, so armor will make a difference. What do we have for the piercing though? That's right, we got sniper and we got assassinate. This is our red card killer right here. They got big armored units. We pop this bad boy down, boom! 
Level 7 in this deck is extremely important. We want to get there as fast as possible. It allows us to control, it allows us to kill, and it allows us to take back a game that you most certainly should be losing. Don't get me wrong here, you should be losing in this deck until you hit level 7. So uh, this is our comeback mechanic here, assassinate, taking out big units, making sure we can get those improvements down. So let's talk about the deck and all the cards. There's your heroes and why every single one of them is in the lane. First thing you might be asking if you're an artifact aficionado, what the hell are you doing putting Zeus down round one? He needs to come in later. In fact, what the hell are you doing with any of these guys? They're all terrible. Well, it's not about them. Remember, this is about the improvements. It's not about the heroes. And we will get into why Zeus has to come out in round one very shortly. But first, Escape Root. This card is god-awful. It's a terrible card. But at the same time in this deck, it's pretty good. Escape Root's a cheap one. It's only one mana. It's easy to get our boys out, and it's mostly used later for Zeus. We'll get into why. But it's a nice way to make sure that your enemy isn't making too much money. Because too much money is a little bit risky for us. So Escape Root, not a bad one for this bad boy. Trebbies! I love Trebbies, baby! One mana, put him in the lane, and they just push. You lose games all the time an artifact with somebody that has like six HP on a tower or an ancient. Now with Trebbies, baby! As soon as you get a Trebby, put that bad boy down. Make sure you put it in the lane you're not in to ensure that you get the most damage. And put it down in the lane that you don't think you're gonna visit the most. Cause in the end, that might be the one that screws over your enemy. So Trebbies, always have them. The Oath. This is basically the deck. Let me walk you through it. Oath is great in the early game in this deck because we don't have any cards that impact it in the early game. Just making us money, just giving us damage, not a big deal at all. However, the big trick of this deck, the dirty win of this deck, is to wipe the entire enemy team at round 7. With Zeus's uh, ultimate uh, combined with Agnum Sanctum, he can do it. Sniper can assist him as well, coming out with the assassinate. And then what do you do? You drop Oaths. Two oaths at that round seven, but if you're really lucky, you have a Celomanus favor in one of the lanes. Three oaths in one round. That is going to be able to take a tower, no problem. Hell, it might even take an ancient if you got a few creeps. And it is the dirtiest, most filthy way to win a game. Late game triple oathing. It, it should be punishable. You should go to artifact jail. And goddamn, does it feel good to win a game like that as a sick son of a bitch. So, God on you. That's the entire point of the deck. Now, Big notes for this deck. Zeus is a no-go on the Oath lane, okay? We need that Thunder God's Wrath real bad. No-go! I don't care how good it looks. Keep Zeus at the Oath lane, please. I've lost too many games like that. Also, Sniper, he can kind of be in the Oath lane, but we really do need that Assassinate later in the game to make sure that we can kill all the any black hero, any blue hero, any red hero. 10 piercing damage can kill almost anybody. So... Sniper probably shouldn't be in the Oath lane, but sometimes you gotta do you what you gotta do. If you gotta choose between Zeus and Sniper, for the love of God, put Zy Sniper in the Oath lane. Never ward. This spell is garbage unless you got more than one. But if you can get more than one, if you can get three, it makes a serious issue, especially against these uh, blue-green decks that everyone loves running so much. Goddamn annoying. Not anymore, baby. Put down your Celamania. I, I, <laughs> please put it down so I can burn the hell out of you. You. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best card in the world, but it is an improvement, so we'll take it. Agnum Sanctum, of course, is our big card for this one. If you have three, put in three. I only have two, and I ain't gonna spend eight cents on that. No, sir, I'm a poor boy. YouTube doesn't pay me garbage. Agnum Sanctum is used in round seven to completely wipe the board. Uh, very powerful round seven cards in here. You got Zeus's Thunder God's Wrath, you got Sniper, you've got this Steam Cannon. So very good card, but you gotta plan ahead for it. Keyfolk turn, this card's pretty simple, pretty easy. Don't forget it does two piercing damage. It's great for killing red heroes, okay? Put this shit down as soon as you can. Level four, use it every single time. Don't F around. It helps out more than you would think so. Killing random creeps with two HP, very useful skill. 
Salamene. I told you guys before, we got a lot of level 7 cards in this deck. Salamene is going to help us get there quick and give us a big advantage. So really hope that you draw this one in this deck. Very helpful to get a steam cannon out early. Conflagration. This card is important. It's the most important card in the deck when you're starting off. And it is the number one rule. Are you ready for this? Do not let Zeus die at four mana. That's the only rule. In fact, that's why we have him come out first. Because if someone's gonna kill Zeus, let him die in round one. That way he comes out in round five mana, he can put down the Conflargs. Conflargs are important in this deck because we need to be winning at least one deck, one lane if we're gonna do that oath nonsense. And it's very helpful against a lot of the spam decks that people run in these days. So Flarg and March in the Machines are of the utmost importance. Zeus must die in round one, or he can die in round five after he puts this down. He can't die in round four, okay? If you don't get Flarg down at five, you're in trouble. Make sure he lives and put this bad boy down as soon as you can. March of the Machines, very much like Flarg, we're doubling up we're tripling up on these plus twos we're clearing the lane we're making sure that things are okay it's this residual damage from these improvements that win us the game so very good don't forget armor does not pierce on those two glyphic confusion very interesting card here very very good not a lot of people run this card personally i love it in this deck it is a very interesting card because if you're winning a game and you put down glyph it's one of the only cards in Artifact that makes sure that you keep winning that game. It's very interesting. If you're losing a game, Glyph is the worst card in history. But if you just wiped at level 7 their entire team, and next round while they're dead, you put down three Glyphs of Confusion, you've basically taken them out for three rounds. Let me remind you, a typical game of Artifact rests 10 rounds in the Super Late game. That means that a third of the game they are not playing. That's how you win with this deck. Glyphic Confusion is great. Thunder God's Wrath, we talked about that. We want to double up on that boy and clear the entire wave so that we can do some nasty shit. Assassinate the same deal. Steam Cannon! Very good in this deck. This is a big reason why we have those Salamanes favor. So strong. Four piercing damage. Put this bad boy down as often as you can. Okay? I don't have to explain that to you. Now, Hand of God! No, no, bad card, bad card. I love Chen, we need Chen for that late game so he can steal big units, but for the love of God, this card is awful in this deck. We don't care if the heroes die. If I could trade three Hand of Gods for one other improvement, I'd do it. The more Hand of Gods you get in your draw, the less chance you have of winning. Sorry, it's not good. And uh, just use it if you have to. I don't even play it typically because I would rather have initiative than play the stupid card. Real, real bad if you draw this a lot, sorry. Blake Dagger, we have one of these in here just in case we want to put on one of these black heroes like a sniper because he had the oath and we still want to use assassinate, so only one. Vester of the Tyrant, got two of these bad boys in here just in case. It is kind of a very good card for keeping the game going and the more improvements you get down, the more chance you have of winning, so keeping the game going is good. Biggest advice, level 25 cards. You make a lot of residual money in this deck somehow. I mean, you're just killing people and you're not spending anything. We don't care about our heroes. We don't have to buy them heals. We don't have to buy them items. Save that money for the 25. You will typically get at least one of these items in this deck because you are killing shit, but you're not investing in the heroes. Save your money, buy a 25 card. Horn of the Alpha or Nectasha can change and win a game. So there you go. That's basically it. You put down the improvements and then you let your heroes die. Who cares if they die? It's okay, as long as they get those improvements down, they can do it. You guys get annihilated, you get gusted, you get anything. Your heroes are dead, but the damage is coming out from the improvements. What are the big nightmares for this deck? Let me tell you. <laughs> it's that red card that kills every improvement. Holy shit. If some genius has been holding on to that at round 10 and drops that red card that kills your entire all the improvements oh god it has not yet to happen to me but the second it happens send me in that clip and you definitely win the contest for the week wowza not happened to me i hope it never happens to you but uh the other cards i get rid of improvements not that big of a deal they're deca rock em all when i got 11 improvements it doesn't matter if you deji macky mauls me i don't care take one out i got 10 more who cares anyway great deck for winning will you win with this deck no Listen to me, no, it is not a good winning deck. However, 
it is the funnest wins. That one win that you get per your 10 losses feels so, so good to just meme the shit out of somebody. They just see the rainbow come out, they notice at round seven, this guy only has fucking improvements. And if you win that game, trust me, that will feel better than all of the sadness your losses combined. I love this deck, it cracks me up. If you wanna win the prize this week, you simply have to win three games. I mean, it's not easy, it's not easy, guys. Or, grand prize goes out if one of you gets completely destroyed by the red card that destroys all of your improvements, which I cannot remember the name of, nor find as I look for it. Jesus, where is that bad boy? I can't, re I can't remember. Smash their defenses? That ain't it. Whatever. You know, the one that destroys them all. Grab that garbage, send it in, it'll be good. Raise! That's right, it's raised. So, yeah, you can win this week. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching, and thanks for submitting your clips. Last week, we had a winner from the Deck Pasito Ogre through Corpse Tossing. It's this guy right here. Put that in and post. We also had a guy who named this deck for me. Originally, it was called something else, and uh, I'm looking you up on Twitter right now. I'm doing this live. I, I forgot your name. I'll put your name right here, too. Thanks for Room for Improvement. That's the name of the deck this guy named. Appreciate it. Anyway, here is a gameplay video of us actually winning with this deck. Woo! Crazy. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next week for more Deck Pasito. Don't forget, send me your ideas. I'm running out. Bye! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video for uh, Room for Improvement, the Rainbow All Improvement deck. If you're watching this, we actually won a game with this horrendous deck. This guy's gonna be pissed. But I'm gonna walk you through every single... Ugh! moment of this game walk you through my mental state right now I uh, just got done with a 29 hour uh, uh, travel from Australia from my honeymoon I uh, have not slept in approximately 32 hours that's the right kind of frame of mind for this shit so uh, here we go now this is good we put Zeus first so that he can die in round one. You might be asking yourself, why do you want All Zeus right. to die in round one? You sure as shit don't want him to die in round two. Conflagration. We want to make sure this bad boy is ready to go in a nice, safe place. I don't care how he puts it down. I just care that he puts it down. He dies round one. He's dead for round four. Comes back round five. Able to put down Flarg. And we have ourselves a game. As long as we got Flarg... And march the machines down, we can own at least one of these lanes, and then have some kind of room to stand on. Everybody else, though, would be nice if they didn't die. We do have Pugna. Pugna doesn't have a lot of jobs in this deck. In fact, I don't think he has any jobs in this deck, it's just for this. I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you. I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, That's break it. you. That's it. It literally is only a job in this deck. It's just a spam. You, burn you, hurt you, very break violent you. and hateful things. While the people take too I'll long. I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you. Well, that made me mad. I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you. Great. All right, let's move on here. So, uh, a good thing about this deck is that your heroes don't really matter at all. Now, uh, really, Chen is the only hero that matters late game. Round five matters, but besides that, the deck's pretty much on autopilot. They can die every single round, honestly. As long as you can get your uh, improvements down, it's fine. Another thing we're not scared of in this deck is silences. We don't care about silences. We don't care about any of that shit. Silence us, kill us. As long as our boys are around in round five and they're able to put their garbage down, I'm a happy camper. Now, what we do want a black hero alive for round five as well. So I would love to put this Tinker here in this first lane. I sure would love to do it. So I am going to do it. Does that make any sense? Not really. He's going to fucking die. He's going to die over there. He's gonna, I'm killing him. I'm suiciding my Tinker right now. Why am I doing it? Cause Sniper's coming back, we don't care, let him die. He's got a King Folk turn to put down for Christ's sakes, he's got work to do. You're a dead man, Tinker, put him down! I don't give a shit. This is a guide for how to play this deck, by the way. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. 
This is as intelligent as this deck gets. Hey, oh, that ain't bad right there. This guy's got to be excited right now. Hold a lately. Thinking to himself, oh my gosh, good jillily whippets. I get to kill somebody. Good for me, he says to himself I'll quietly at night. My genius. Put that boy in the mid lane. Is there a reason for that? Probably. We'll see later. How was Australia? It was great, Cyborg, man. I really had a, a bonds or good time. It's nice over there. In, way, in many ways. What the fuck is it? Do I have to go back to Pugna? This is literally Pugna's only I'll job. I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you. He just spams hateful Linkin Park you, you, lyrics until the you. other guy go. And we fucking go already! I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you. I'll kill you, <laughs> burn you, hurt you, break you. Alright, guys. Be real with me. If there was a dude sitting in a mall, Death to our sitting on a bench, just screaming that line over and over again, how many of you guys would shit your pants? Give it to me straight. I'd be so fucking scared if some dude is just sitting on a park bench, screaming that out. Will. I'll kill you. Oh my god, that's scary. We don't talk about that. So what's this guy's job here? He's nothing. He's gonna die. Who cares? He doesn't. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Life doesn't matter. We're all gonna die. Let them die. Let them all die. Life is meaningless. See ya, Chen. See you in the afterlife. Till you come back. Can you play Invoker? He doesn't exist in this game. Yeah, but he will one day. What the fuck is taking so long? I've used my man! I'll kill you, burn you, hurt you, break you! This is the most important thing I can teach you guys about this game. You just spam angry shit as much as possible. But I think, for, according to Reddit, you guys already know that one. <laughs> I'll try to think of some more tricks. <laughs> this is how you play the deck, guys. I, I really wish I could give you more, uh, more in-depth knowledge about this deck it's a fucking meme i i don't know what else to tell you guys this is it you sit here waiting for this asshole you burn, you hurt, you break you. <laughs> this play is goddamn you burn, you that's all we do No one can survive my wrath. I'll kill you, burn you, <laughs> hurt you, break you. All right, it's finally time time for round five. Now I know you might be thinking, shouldn't it be round twelve? Because this dude's taken so goddamn long. But no, it's actually round five. It's party time. This is what we killed Zeus for in round one. This is what we wanted. As the kids say, it's time to freaking party. All right, let's buy a health item here. Let's buy a TP scroll. Let's get to work. Daddy's hungry for work. Times have been tough for daddy. Daddy's had a rough ride at the zoo. He's hurting. Daddy's hurt. And I kind of want to put both these guys mid. But then I'll lose my mid that other tower. I'm fucking what do I care. This is my head. It's meaningless. Life is meaningless. I want to put down that steam can. I know, right? But then I kind of want to put down the conflagration too. A lot of choices. I'm gonna go ahead and put Zeus in the middle lane. Now I know you're thinking, come on, Slags. What are you pussing out for? Don't do that. I know. I know. I know that's not what you want with the kiddos. But at the same time, I really should have put him in the top lane. You know, I really should have just went with my gut and knew I was gonna get that. Who to lately I've made a mistake. Who to lately? I've made a terrible error in judgment, and it will, it will haunt me. I'm haunted. I'm fucking haunted. It's all good. We can figure out a way out of this. How much HP is this gonna say? Seven, eight, nine, ten. That ain't good. I'm haunted. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. We'll figure this one out. Don't worry, kid. It's the steam cannon. Let's you you know someone. her, you love her. 
You want a beer. It's the steam cannon, kid. Three, five, configurations. Three, five, six, five, four, five, two, five. I don't, I'm just saying words. I don't, I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing. Time to sharpen the knife collection. That ain't good. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. See ya. Sniper needs to come back. Probably shouldn't have done that. That's not good. My tower's gonna die. This is a joke, by the way. We're setting up, kiddos. We're setting up for big round seven on Thunder God's Wrath. That's what this deck is all about. We want to kill every single hero round seven. That's it. We're literally chilling out. All right? Isn't it round seven right now, you might be asking? Couldn't we have Thunder God's Wrath right there? Sure. But it's more interesting this way. Could you hurry the hell up? What is the name I of God? You hurt you, break you. Are you leaving right now? Don't. Not Zeus. Mm. No, 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 no. I'll find their No, 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 no. That's not good. Here in my garage. This guy's got goddamn plans. I'm killing one Who of you. Love a good spider? Killing one of you before I'm dead, I'll tell you that much, you piece of shit. One of you is going down. 17 damn us. It's all according to plan. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yowza! Guess I'm dead! Should we have put Agnum Sanctum down? Maybe. Maybe, but I'd actually rather just die. So, no big deal. I think I'll keep the initiative. Wait, he has initiative. Uh-oh. We've just made a lot of mistakes in this life, haven't we? Well, you know, I lost this game. <laughs> however. And a big however here for you sitting at home, kiddos. Nah, we're still in it. I know you're thinking to yourself. What are you, fucking stupid? You're still in it. You're dead! There's no hope you're dead! Well, my friend. You just don't know about this deck, do you? I'm here to teach you. What red improvement do you even use? Well, we used to have uh, a red improvement. We actually took that out. Pressing ceremonial reasons. You will find out shortly. Shortly and surely you will find out. But don't worry, this deck is full of surprises. Alright, here's a surprise. We killed Debbie. That's right. Surprise. That bitch is dead. Saw you! Whee! This was the only way things were going to Ain't end. Ain't that surprising, kiddos. I'm surprised. Color me surprised right now. Well, there's another surprise that you guys might not know about. Why kill some more people? The question is, who do I who do I want to march the machines? Two damage. Two plus four, five, six. I can kill one of them without assassinating. That'd be that'd be dope. And he's gonna kill one of them anyway. Let's do it. My machines will tear you apart. Bye. That works for me. Now we're gonna shoot one of them. Now the question is, who do we shoot? <laughs> Probably shoot the PA. I I hate her. I hate her. I hate every moment. I hate every moment of her existence. God, I hate her. Get the hell out of here, baby. Feels pretty good to me. You know what? I'm feeling especially risky today. Who needs magic? No one matches my brain. Bye. Or my firepower. Feeling especially giddy today, boy. You know what? I'm feeling especially giddy today. A new toy to play with. Now ain't that giddy? Boo ya! Fire everything! God damn. 
Now that should feel pretty good. You can only kill one of us. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna kill Snipe. You don't want to kill Sniper. Trust me. I've seen a lot of guys try to go for Sniper before. It never works out. You don't want to kill Sniper. Who you really want to kill... I know how to use this. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's... A big boy. Nine. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven. Well, I'll go kill your friend. Leave this to me. Hmm. And I've got some real nasty news for you. That Thunder Hide Alpha that you're summoning this round? Oh, that's perfect. He's gonna be working for Daddy. He's got a new job. And he's daddy's bitch now. He worked for daddy now. I got me one of them Tepe scrolls. I'm gonna come back. Just a precaution. That's not good. That's can I even leave? Eleven damage. Whoo! That's not good. That's a big risk. Maybe I should just let him die. Come back next round. Probably gonna need him. that guy had a lot of gold. How much did he have? 50 gold? He spent all of it? Probably gonna need Shen in the next round. Because he's gonna put one of those things on Sniper. Oh, yeah. That's a good-ass point. 15 seconds remaining. Slacks, I gotta tell you, man. You're a fucking genius. See ya! Take my tower, baby. I never wanted that tower. It's garbage and I hate it. See ya. We're gonna need that Shen, boy. Hey, better run. No, don't do this. I need you to stay there. I need you to stay there. The red mist is here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Don't do this, Poppy. Listen to me, Poppy. No, 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 no. Don't go. Don't go, Poppy. Stay. Stay with, stay with, stay with Daddy. Don't go. All right. Hey, this isn't something that we can't fix. We'll be back, boys. No problemo. We are, we got this shit unlocked. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Boom, shakalaka. This tower's ours. Boom! All right, now. Just need to make sure we have initiative. In the mid. That's it. Just gotta make sure we got initiative in the mid. We're gonna take that big boy. We're gonna put our Zeusy in the top. We're gonna fix this. Oh, we're gonna fix it! Ah! <laughs> it's not looking good. It's looking bad. But we're gonna fix it. Because the improvement deck, she never loses. And he's got a problem. He's got a problem a brewing. This magical lad, he's got a problem a brewing. Oof, we got a lot of heroes coming out next round. Oof, oof, we got issues. A gun that shoots bullets. Wow, you're old. Hmm. Big question here. Do I kill Bounty and not put down Sanctum? Because it's my only chance. I think I gotta risk putting down the Sanctum. I know it's risky, but we don't need that shit. Actually, I could just kill Sniper right here. 15 seconds. I'll just kill Sniper while we can. Boom, Shakalaka! Yes. Don't kill Zeus! If you kill Zeus, I'm gonna bring the wrath of fucking God on your head. I swear to you, you will pay so dearly if you kill that Zeus right now. You will pay like you have never paid! Ooh, that was quite effective. I believe you won the game. Or have you? Yes? Move. We'll be fine. Sniper's coming home. Sniper's coming home. 
Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Well, I'll take you. Ah. Now serves the greater good. You guys wanna see how fucking good I am at this game? Check this shit out. Boom. Shaka fucking Laka, kiddos. You heard it here first. Daddy's come to play. Those who won't join us will die. That's right. Hiya! Boom, baby! My boy's got this shit out of Block City! Okay. My wicked wards! That's the wicked wards right there. Now, this is a big risk. Do I dare to leave these boys at their lonesome? I believe I have. Hey, I never got to uh, check out your stuff. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, you know, the more you know, the less you'll like me, I think. I'm a. Uh, I'm just real annoying. Wow! Really wish I had that goal. What to do here? What to do here? I think I'm saving my goal. Ah, oh, bye. What do I care? Oh, this is gonna hurt. He's got initiative. This is gonna hurt. Everybody dead over there. Woo! Everybody real dead over there. He got the initiative. He got the boom boom. Woo! That ain't good. That always oh, got another horn of the alpha. Woo! <laughs> it's fucking over. 15 seconds remaining. You know, if I can just save this lane though, we might be alright. Five seconds remaining. Three. Two, one. All right. We're gonna try to just save this link. Now he's gonna blink over with that horn of the alpha. And he's gonna try to take my shit. But I think I'm ready for it. I think I'm ready for it. He's got two blinks. Forgot about that. We are definitely not ready for that. Guys, we're not ready. Is anyone there? Because uh, we're not ready for that. I see you. Now. Hang on, boys! Find salvation. Gotcha, bitch! This guy thought he was fucking here to You thought you were here to play! I'm here to play, baby boy! This is my game. This is how we play the game. Now blink your dumb ass over to this lane. When my fucking Martian Machines kills two of the creeps, forcing your Thunderhide to go in front of one of my guys, go ahead. Launch that shit. Do it. Do it. My aid comes with a price. What's that gonna do, baby? We're invincible, back. dog. In fact, you've minus your own armor. Now you make me want to kill you. Now I'm considering murdering you. Do you understand what you've done? Do you have any idea what you've done? You've made yourself into a target, boy! Boom, baby! Now blink over. Now do it. Do it. Do it, bitch. Blink over. You've upset me today. Today you have upset me. You have upset me. Be free. Be free from this place. Be gone. No, dude. You were supposed to blink over with your Thunder Hide Alpha. What are you doing? What have you done? Hungers. Now, here's the trick. The trick of tricks. The trickiest move I've ever tricked in all my days. Now, I've made a lot of tricks. Okay. Thunderhide's gonna die here. There's no getting around it. There's no getting around it. Thunderhide's a dead man. 15 seconds remaining. But I can take this bitch right here. But 
Do I want to do that? Or do I want to take this bitch with me? He just respawns next round anyway. Five seconds remaining. There I want to take no it with me. I can't kill. Fuck you! Take me. Just chain frost me, a piece of garbage. Chain like I give frost. Ain't over till it's over, baby boy. I'll see you next round. I'll see ya. Double King Folk could have done it. I wouldn't have had to waste the assassinate, but they want to risk it. They want to risk it. Always wanted one of these. That's unfortunate. Boom! Okay. Wow, this is really unfortunate. These creep spawns are not the jam. That is very bad. <laughs> Yikes. Hello, baby. Who's ready to make some fucking magic happen this time, boys? Who's ready for some goddamn magic in this bitch? All or nothing! Ooh, I gotta think this one through. Gotta think this one through. I need the black hero. I need that black hero there, do I? Do I need him? Do I need him? I need him to front the damage. She's gotta front the damage. Here we go! This is one heroes I made, baby boy! Let's get the shit started! Come on now. There we go. Cootie Goody! A uh, Cootie Goody! Up something special just for you. Now you fucked, boy. Another invention, courtesy of the key. Okay, boys. Trust in the Lord. <laughs> Trust. Trust, baby boys. Trust. Here we go. What do you 
I will be protected. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. What do you got here? What do you have here? Stupid. Come on, you gotta kill me now. Kill me. Kill me. Shoot, baby. Shoot. You got it. You got this. What are you gonna do? Hey, never That's it. Ooh, you know, that was a very, very good move. However, I think you might have shot the wrong guy there. You see, uh, I got lots of plans. I need it. Fountain class. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I guess I'm gonna get you the hell out of my lane, dog. See you. Where are you going? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. It was so nice meeting you. I. A plant sniper, you know. Put you in hell, fucko. Did you go to the lane that has the gate of confusion? <laughs> what a shame. Trebbies. Oh, that would have been lethal right there. That ain't good. <laughs> ah! Gotta earn it. Oh no, it's done this round. Uh-oh. That ain't good. That ain't good for the plan. Plan's in trouble. Guess what though? It's fine. Because I don't even need to be alive. I don't even need to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. That's why this deck is good. Let me die. My my things are already down. It's too late. Let them come, baby. All the cards are down. It's too late. There's no way I can do this. I can't believe they're hearing this from the rooftop of hip hop. Fresh B, how you feeling? There's no way. I can believe they're feeling this from the rooftop of hip hop. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just don't. Cootie Zeus. <laughs> Actually, that sniper going to this lane just lost me the game. Fuck the double. Oh, I had it, boys. I had it. I actually had it. The sniper. Oh my god, he's gonna cootie me. Oh. He can still cootie me. But he can't cootie me. If I shoot him! For quite a ride, my boy! Quite a ride! Oh, sit back, relax, and enjoy watching everything you've ever loved fall apart. That's real nice. That's a real nice item we got there. Can I show you one of mine? Check this bad boy out. Zeus! Kill him off! My uh, math might have been a little, uh, a little off here. We're gonna let the music continue to play. No problem. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What are you waiting on, boy? Oh, baby. You can't run from the heavens. More than a soul's brain. 
Well, we're still not doing any damage. Not great. Also, I needed really to have initiative on the next hit lane. Trebuchet, and I went. Oh, baby, what are you doing here, you sexy girl? What are you doing here? Let's end this fucking game. You can kill my heroes. You can get a hundred gold. You can do anything you want, big boy. But the sad truth of the matter is, is that you're gonna die. Every single one of you and your little friends are done. You can make as much gold as you wish. You can kill as many of my friends as you want. But when the time comes, baby boy, I'm the grim motherfucking reaper. Do it. What are you gonna do, huh? You ain't gonna do shit. And when I'm done with you, all will be lost. Soon, my units will be Destroy yours in a hilarious fashion. You have one move, brother. Make it count. Six armor. <laughs> oh no, that's not good at all. So it begins again. All right, then. Time to think about this a little bit. Six armor. We do have a few options here. We do have a few options. I have a great idea. I'm going to let him activate his beautiful item. Fire! I want him to activate the Horn of the Alpha because the unit's going to get stunned, allowing me to steal it next round. Gentlemen? Ah! Can you feel it? Can you feel the desperation? What are you doing? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that now, friend. Don't do that, friend. Got some bad news for you, bounty hunter. You see, the saddest part of all, all of this is you were never the real target all along. <laughs> Didn't you forget lane three with my 
my beautiful improvement. Bounty Hunter, listen, I know we laughed a lot in the past, but I need you to not do what you're thinking about doing. All right. You need to cut, cut that door. Don't stop. Bounty. Don't shoot that. Listen, listen. This is probably bad. No. No, it's okay. It's okay. We can't just. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you a unanimous victory, stunned by my own greatness. Your time is over. Your gods are dead. And you have room for improvement. Goodbye, my friend. And that's how you play the deck. Uh, did you learn anything? I sure didn't. I played like shit this entire time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, shoot us in your, uh, your tries attempting to win with this deck. You can win in one hilarious way. I'm, I'm gonna give you, I mean, if anyone can win in a week with this horrific deck, I'll give it to you. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a pleasure showing you room for improvement, and we'll see you next week on another Deck Pasito! Thanks for watching.